this is Melina from Me Crafty Scrapper on Instagram. Thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to go over the Coco Daisy July box I got in the mail just a couple of days ago and I'm just now able to um, get that um, opened up and see what all the goodies are inside. I also want to go over at the end of the video the um, printables. Uh, there are printables you can get off of the website and then there are also subscriber printables for subscribers only and I want to go over those and let you see how I fussy cut those and um, I also have some paper punches that go right along with the subscriber printables that um, I wanted to demonstrate for you and show how I get all that cut up and added to my planners. So here is the July Coco Daisy box. It is all kinds of sea life nautical kind of, I mean, it's just goodness in here in this box. So this is our little subscriber card that we get from Miss Christine, our fearless leader. Uh, every month, this uh, July kit, the name of it is To The Sea, and that is her wording on the back. That's the little subscriber card. Now, I am a member of the design team, and so I get quite a few kits to demonstrate for you and show on Instagram and YouTube. Um... If you don't follow me on Instagram, me, Crafty Scrapper, on Instagram, if you don't follow me, I would love to have you as a follower there, and um, you can see what I create with all these kits every month. Let me get this rattly paper out of the way. Now, I'm going to go over uh, two things that I special order every month, um, because I love these two things. Uh, I am part of the memory keeping design team on Coco Daisy. So a lot of my um, subscriber kits that I get as um, a design team member is, you know, memory keeping related. But I also love to get the Simple Dory and I also love to get the uh, Hobonichi and I hope I say that correctly, Hobonichi um, sticker kit, and because I do have, um, it's not the original Hobonichi Weeks insert, but I do have a standard size uh, insert from uh, Paper Penguin Co. on Etsy, and it is laid out just like the original, but it's just her brand or her style insert. So this is the Hope, um, Daisy Weeks. We don't call it Hobonichi at Coco Daisy. We call it the Daisy Weeks Sticker Kit. stickers the cutest thing ever I love them and I love the colors in this July kit um, right now we are getting uh, eight sheets in the Daisy Weeks sticker kit and usually they just come with six but they've been treating us for a couple of months with eight and um, if you subscribe to the Daisy Weeks sticker kit, or if you've bought a Daisy Weeks sticker kit in the last couple of months, you've gotten eight sheets. Well, it's going back to six in August. So um, if you want those extra two sheets, and I think it is, it's either this sheet and this sheet, or this sheet and this sheet. Anyways, there's two of the sheets that will be their own little subscription and you can get those added in to your existing uh, 
kits that you subscribe to. So that was the Daisy Weeks sticker kit. This is the Simple Dory. And in August, I have changed my kits around a little bit, thanks to the fantabulous Mary Kay. Thank you so much, Miss Mary Kay, for taking care of us when we're wanting to change around our subscriptions. And in August, I'm starting that I will have the Traveler's Notebook um, memory keeping kit. I'm going to be getting, getting that every month. So I have unsubscribed just to the Simple Dory because the Simple Dory comes in the Traveler's Notebook kit. So... This will be the last month that I'm just getting the Simple Dory. I want all the goodness from the Traveler's Notebook uh, kit. So that starts in August. Here is the pages that are in the July Simple Dory kit, or Simple Dory itself. tell some of the pages are plain some of them have the little grid some of them have dot grid and then some have the designs like the papers that come in the different kits I love both I love the designs I love the plain because I can uh, put even more decoration into my simple dory and then I love these Designs like this, it's a little faint, little petite design. I love that. So you can dress it up as much as you want to. So that is the Simple Dory for July. Next, we'll look at the Memory Keeping Sticker Kit. some gorgeous designs and colors in this memory keeping sticker kit and I love this little petite sheet that we got this time I love that it's got little sayings and like a font hand um, written font I love that I also love the weathered wood that they've incorporated in the July kit beautiful designs as always I love 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 this kit teal and aqua are two of my absolute favorite colors so you know that i'm absolutely in love with the july kit so that was the memory keeping sticker kit we also got a, a reminder that when we refer a friend and they subscribe a brand new subscriber to coco daisy that we get ten dollars to spend in the store and our friend that mentioned us when they check out they also get ten dollars to spend in the store so if anybody out there would like to subscribe to coco daisy i'm going to leave all of the coco daisy information on how you get to their website and subscribe down in the description box and mention my name and both of us get a little reward for that so that was our reminder about the reward program that miss christine has for all of us and on the back look at that a cute little monthly view that we can add to our planner for july i love that card and i love the reminder thank you so much all right next we have the planner, main planner kit. 
I was sitting and looking at it because used to the bags had on the outside main planner kit. She's getting all creative on us. And now it says plan and create. You know, the plan should have been my hint there that this is the main planner kit. Anyway, it takes me a minute sometimes. This is the main planner kit. And I'm going to go through this for you. planner kit I love everything about that kit and if you didn't know these are refills that they send for their pins love it they think of everything that fish washi is going to go on everything even my to-do lists and when I seal an envelope that is too cute all right and then next is the memory keeping pocket memory keeping kit pocket memory keeping kit both the main planner kit and the pocket memory kit had a stamp set in it i am so excited i love stamping and these little critters that they have designed for these stamp sets are screaming to be colored so i am hopefully going to get that done here is the memory keep pocket memory i keep forgetting pocket pocket memory keeping kit
the pocket memory keeping kit. That was a lot of stuff, a lot of awesome stuff in that kit. So, um, if you didn't know too, in the main planner kit and in this kit, uh, these, when I point to this, this is rub-ons. That's what that is. That's why the little popsicle stick comes with it. And I love that we got two packs of die cuts in the pocket memory keeping kit. That is awesome. I love die cuts. And then that one pack is all labels. I love that. So that is the kits that I get each month. And like I said, in August, it will change up just a little bit. I'll be getting the um, Traveler's Notebook creating kit. I'll be getting that one. And uh, it comes with the Simple Dory. So I'll have that kit and the Simple Dory. I love that. So that is my kits. Now I wanted to go over with you the printables that we get. So not only do we get these fabulous kits designed by these fabulous designers and put together by our Miss Christine, not only do we get those kits, we also get printables every month. These are the printables for July. I've already started cutting. And if you print on cardstock like I do, I don't have the sticker paper, the Avery sticker paper that you can get in the packs. I need to get some of that. I just haven't broken down and spent the money on it. I print on cardstock. And I, what I do is I cut off the bottom of the piece of cardstock and they fit perfectly in a gallon size uh, zipper type baggie, like Ziploc, Glad, whatever. They fit perfectly in these. And what I do is I put them in there along with my little sharp cutter bee scissors and I can take it anywhere. If I'm in the car riding, I can uh, cut my, uh, fussy cut my printables. And there was a little, little bitty bubble in there that I cut out that's staying in the bag. That itty bitty bubble. Um, I, like I said, I've already started on some of this. And here's one of the little pages that you can add to your planner or, or a traveler's notebook. And my printer uh, decided to quit in the middle of one of the pages. So that's why this little adorable creature right here, the little seahorse, <laughs> the bottom of its body's cut off. But I thought I'm going to cut that out anyways because I thought that would be adorable at the bottom of one of the pages. Like he's swimming up. I love that. So here are some of them that I've already started fussy cutting. And, you know, if you have one of those fancy schmancy die cutting machines that's digital and can be programmed to your printer, you know, or your phone or whatever, you can cut these out. You know, that machine will cut all these out. You don't even have to fussy cut them. I don't have that. So, cutting by hand. So, there's that. And here are some of the pages. Like, this is a... There's that little bubble again. This is a um, page meant for a personal size traveler's notebook or planner, ring planner. You can cut this out along the lines here and add that to um, like a, a booklet, an insert you have for your traveler's notebook, or you can punch the holes and add it to your ring bound planner. Some of these just have the pages on them. Like this one is meant for a standard size. All these are going to be upside down, I guess. This one is meant for a B6 or a 5x7. That is what I carry right now. I have standard. And then right now, I'm uh, for July, I'm going to be using a uh, B6 planner. So I printed two of those pages. I might even print another one to add to my planner. Uh, this one is for an A6. And then you have all these cute critters to cut out too. 
This one is for your little mini page. Um, it's a three and a half by five. Is that the field note size? Anyway, that's the mini page. And you have little borders. You can make you some bookmarks. Add some accents to pages. This one I love. Look at that. Little July border. And the little cards. I love that page. And then this page, this goes along with this card that you get in there. So there's that exact same writing and everything. And then you have these two little uh, cards and they make it so easy. They give you these lines that you can cut right around. I actually printed two of those pages because I love it so much. Might add it to a few other pages. Anyway, that is the uh, July printables. And like I said, I've already started cutting them out. And then this is the subscriber only uh, printable. And there's one sheet every month for the subscribers, exclusively for the subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber already, you need to be so you can get these and you can get these great kits every month because if you wait until it's open season to buy the kits, a lot of the times, because these designs are so great, they get sold out quickly and they're sold out before you can even buy it each month. So go ahead and subscribe. Then that way you, you're guaranteed for it to come to you every month. This is the su subscriber exclusive printable. And I like to print this one with the black background. When I print it on the white background, see some of these hexagons, they're white on the bottom. So if your background's white, sometimes I get lost and then I cut it wonky and it doesn't come out right. So I like to print it with the black background. Yes, it uses a little more ink, but I like to do that. So that way I have a definite, a defined line on where I should cut these out at. Also, with this one, it usually comes with some circles and hexagons. And I like using my old as dirt creative memory punches to punch these out. All you do is you cut close to them. Because, you know, it's not going to fit if you're just going right into it. See, if I were to go here, it's not going to reach over there. But if you cut, and you're going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to cut a little bit lower than that so I can actually get it around. So you cut really close to it. And then, see, you can punch it out. Or if you've got a smaller one, or if you just want a piece of it, you can cut it out that way. But that's the way I do that. And then same thing with the hexagons. I cut a little closer and then slide that down in there and cut out my hexagons that way. Punch them out that way. That makes it a lot easier because I'm not really good with cutting in a perfect circle. <laughs> so that doesn't work too well. All the rest of these, of course, just can be cut around easily, the rest of them. Um, I wanted to demonstrate a fussy cut. Now, on fussy cutting, you don't get directly on the line of the image. You kind of go around it, leave some white along the edges. So, I will... Go along and do this little puffer fish here for you. It says I've already got one cut out. And I like to cut my little items out like this so that I'm not having to maneuver around a whole sheet of uh, cardstock. Okay? Now, I'm going to have to get really close because I'm getting old. And I have to get close to make sure I cut on the lines and around the lines and leave a little white space. So, if you see my head, that's why. Because I'm having to get really close. Now, these are my absolute favorite. They're from EK Success. They're called Cutter Bee Scissors. They come with a um, blade sleeve. So, you know, if you're out. But, of course, I always 
misplaced those. I don't even know. I have two pair of these and I don't even know where one blade sleeve is. <laughs> they also get borrowed a lot by family members. So then when I'm wanting to cut anything, I have to call out and ask who's got my yellow scissors. Now, when I'm fussy cutting, see these little pricklies that are coming off of this puffer fish? You're wanting to get around those. When I cut, I leave my scissors as still as possible while I'm cutting and I'm moving my paper to go around what I need to go around. That has always been the easiest for me, moving the paper around, cardstock, whatever you're using, moving that around instead of moving the scissors. You're kind of just leaving the scissors like they are and maneuvering that paper like you need it. Okay, so there's his little back end that I've cut and his little top fin or back fin. And then, you know, when I get just a little bit, it's like peeling an orange. When you get a little bit or peeling an apple, when you get a little bit going, it starts getting in your way. So then you just kind of chop it off and get it out of your way. So, I mean, he's a little bit challenging because he's got all these little pricklies puffing out from him. But I just find this, especially when I'm riding in the car or sitting in my recliner in the evenings, taking it easy, I just find this, as cheesy as it sounds, a little therapeutic, you know? I've always said I love to work with my hands, even if it's just paper crafting. I love to work with my hands, kind of keep them busy. I don't want to get too idle. Don't want to get too lazy, you know? So I'm always doing something. If I'm not fussy cutting in my recliner, I'm crocheting or I'm reading. I'm always doing something to stay busy. I don't really ever want to just be sitting and not doing something. Of course, with a house and kids, you've always got something to do, right? All right, so we're coming up on the last little prickly. So, see, now that was a, that was a little bit involved, but like I said, I love fussy cutting. It's it is cheesy, but it's therapeutic for me. I love the fussy cut. Now, this can be added to anything. It can be added to, like if you wanted to add one of the papers from the kits on the outside of your Traveler's Notebook insert, and then add some of the fussy cutting that you did, some of the printables that you did, with some of the bubbles and maybe even some of this little seaweed coming up with that paper on the background, that would be so cute. And maybe add some of the alpha stickers for you, a title, July or whatever. These are so cute. I love adding them ev everywhere, everywhere. And die cuts are like my fave, so I always love the printables. All right, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'll leave uh, pertinent information in the description below. Be sure to click that subscribe button, and I appreciate you stopping by. Y'all have a great day. God bless.